おいそこの貴様俺たちが見えているか Visual novels are perfect for getting Japanese practice because they involve tons of reading, have voice acting for listening practice, and the visuals, music, and sound effects keep you engaged through probably thousands of lookups. YouTube でエロゲの話していいの Not all VNs are eroge だよ。ふーん。やろう。うるせえよ。I decided to play them for 4 to 5 hours per day for 30 days to try and increase my reading speed and vocabulary knowledge and to up my JLPT and one score. まだネイティブレベルになってねえのなさけねえな。Results later in the video. I started the project with the game World End Economica and bashed through 1500 dictionary lookups in six days. Despite how attractive a story about a runaway teenager day trading stocks on the moon sounds, I was so bored by the repetitive and lackluster story that I quit after 21 hours. Also, there was no voice acting and way too many black screens. I don't know if you're a little bit of a boy. I don't know if どっか行けよみんなと話してるんだよこいつ変態だからみんな話を聞くのやめた方がいいよ Anyway, I always say when learning a language you have to get used to doing difficult things but I mean more reviewing vocabulary, kanji, things like that even on days that you don't really feel like it but there are literally thousands of visual novels out there so forcing yourself to read one you don't like is Kind of silly. So I went for the much more popular Steins Gate next. Get out. I wasn't going to play this at first because it's so long, but the Steam reviews were glowing, and the premise of the story, time travel and conspiracy, was just too juicy to pass up. I got sucked in pretty fast, too, even though many consider it to be a slower starter. There's also a fan made text hooker specifically for Steins Gate, which pulls the text from the game into your clipboard. This made doing lookups a breeze when combined with this website and this add on. Combined, they automatically copy each line into Chrome, and then I use the add on Yomi chan to quickly do lookups and create Anki flashcards with a single click. There's a video in the description which you can check out later if you want to know how to do that, minus this site. I found that during this project. I didn't actually study those Anki cards, by the way, but it was a good way to track how many lookups I did throughout the project 2,871. That's how many words I looked up during the 84 hours it took me to finish Steins Gate. <laughs> get it. I thought I told you to leave. There's six possible endings in Steins Gate, and I did them all. The nice thing about that is that there's a lot of repetition when you go through the other endings, so you sort of get built in review. That might suck if you're reading it in your native language, but it's great for language learners. Here's how I felt the day after finishing Steins Gate I finished every single ending, I saved the true ending for last, and. Wow. I just. I... Blown away. It was an amazing story. I had so much fun with it. I think I'd place it in my top three stories of all time that I've read. Now, in the beginning, I had to look up a lot of words, but it got easier and easier as I went along, just like everything. And 84 hours into a game that's using a lot of the same language over and over again, you know, it gets a lot easier as you go on. So, um, that's fun. Do you have a favorite time travel or sci fi book or game? Let me know in the comments and hit the like button while you're down there if you're enjoying the video so far. Despite how happy I sound in that video, to be honest, I felt pretty empty inside. Like I just said goodbye to some great friends or something. So to cheer myself up, I chose some psychological horror to play next. <sighs> no? I thought it made sense. But why are you still here? <laughs> I'd already played 40 hours of Higurashi no Naku Koro ni during my Nintendo DS challenge, but I only made it part way through, so I decided to restart on PC this time. Higurashi had me on the edge of my seat after the first 10 hours. It's really kind of a mind bender. Sometimes long winded, but it can get to you, man. There were points where I would feel a bit bored and let my guard down, and then it'd be like, boom, back into the. It'll get. Back into the horror. For text hooking, which I mentioned earlier, you can just use the program Textractor with this one. It worked great. I finished game one in 24.8 hours on the 30th day of the project with 
no time to spare and encountered 1,215 new words. I'll get into the results in a second, but first let's quickly talk about grammar. Throughout the whole 130 hours of this project, I only looked up 11 grammar points. So I think that if you have a good grasp of N3 to N2 grammar, you shouldn't have any issues with the grammar in most visual novels, at least the ones I played. If you're a total beginner though, check out my website tokeniandy.com where we use loads of reading material and video lessons to help you go from beginner to intermediate proficiency in Japanese. 50% off your first month with the coupon code Visual Novels. So how much did my Japanese reading speed actually improve? Well, before starting this project, I was able to read 11 pages of the light novel ReZero in 30 minutes with 30 lookups. At the end, I read 14 pages with only 26 lookups. That's a 27% improvement in reading speed and a 32% reduction in dictionary lookups per page. It wasn't as dramatic of an improvement as my manga and 3DS challenges, but I think I'm approaching a sort of plateau, so I'm still happy with those results. As for the JLPT N1, on a practice test I got 30 out of 58 on the reading section at the beginning, and on the real test which I took in the middle of this project I scored 50 out of 60, so I'd say that's a pretty good result. Can't you just let me feel good about myself for like two minutes? <laughs> If you enjoyed this, check out my first or second project in this series, and please subscribe, hit the bell, and the like button. <laughs>